Hey, groovy people. Uh, this is for um, to f fillers in a math class. So um, things you can do at the end of the day, especially on Fridays when you have some spare time. I like to read books to my students, um, or read stories to my students that take a good 10, 15 minutes. And if not, I, you know, it's, it's either that or do some math. So the kids, you know, it's an easy buy-in to talk the kids into, you know, story time on, on Friday. So first of all, this one is, this one is great. Um, Cartesian cartoons. Uh, it is, it is awesome. It, it's, it's, a great filler for after tests. So what they do is they, they got to know how to graph, but it gives you some, some graph paper to run off for the student. So here's some graph paper here. Um, and then it starts off with easy ones. So what they're doing is they're, they're just graphing the ordered pairs and it creates a picture for Ben Franklin's folly. I'll show you that in a little bit. And they get progressively more challenging. Here's a, here's a more challenging one right here. So um, and so, though, so it tells you when to to stop uh, connecting the dots. So you, you connect one dot to the next, to the next, and then it says uh, line stops or line ends. Yeah, line ends. And then you pick up and you start again. And I insist that kids have to use a straight edge. And if they, and this is like extra credit on a test. These are all extra credit on a test, like five points or whatever. Make it whatever you want. Um, and the, the, the better looking, the more, the more extra credit that they'll get on that. So it, it's a good, um, filler. You know, those kids that they get done with the test in 10 minutes and you have 40 minutes left to do. So you can have them do something. So here's something right here. So here's, here's what, um, what they, what they look like. So they get progressively harder. There's the, the Ben Franklin folly, the, the kite right there. Okay, and uh, what's brewing is that cup of coffee, and they, you know, the more involved they get, let me, let me get here, so here's one with all the shading, you know, that takes a long time, so anyways, um, um, uh, I, I would, I, and I would do them back to back, that, that, that burns time with them in class, so, so, um, uh, I don't give them, you know, don't give them one piece graph paper, and then one piece, um, the ordered pairs, I, I would do, this on one side and the graph on the other side and, and don't let them take two pieces of paper um because they'll take two out and they'll, you know you know how it is so um they try to shortcut the way so all right so books that i like to read in my class you guys there's all kinds there's infinite but this these are the ones that i that are consistent with me donald duck and math magic land or donald and math magic land that's a pretty good one it's 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 just on cartoons and stuff and and you can go as long as you want and far as you want in that here's another one you guys circumference in the first round table so right on um, here's another one. One grain of rice. This is a good one where um, uh, they got a rich person who hoards all the rice. And so everybody's doesn't have rice to eat. And so this, this young lady goes in and she makes a deal with him and says, I'll do all this work for you if you give me one grain of rice. And then I'll come back tomorrow and you give me two grains of rice. And then the next day is four grains of rice and then eight grains of rice and then double, double, double. And so as she outsmarts him, you know, she ends up getting over a million grains of rice and, and outsmarts him for doing, you know, the next chore. So here's another one here, uh, the librarian who, who measured the earth. That's a great one right there. Um, this one's a pretty bomb one right here, the math curse. They're great. The kids love it, you know, and, and, and it's, it's either that or work on some math and this is a good buy-in. And so it's quiet, you know, the last 15, 20 minutes in math class. Here's one of my favorites. This is for third and fourth grade, but I read it to my high school kids cause it's good. And it talks about a million kids and the way, and a million, um, a million stars. What would that do? And a, a million, uh, a million goldfish what would that do and 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 it, it talks about if you stacked a million kids how tall would they go they go up higher than the highest airplanes can fly it says in there so and then it does a billion and if you counted from one to a billion how long would that take if you it, it i forgot what it takes it's let me let's see if i can find it really fast so um uh, um, if you counted from one to a million, it'd take you about 23 days. And then it says in the back, it talks about how they get these measurements. And, you know, the first numbers, when you start counting, they go fast. One, two, three, four. But soon you start getting getting into numbers like 1,135,332. 1,135,333. They start taking longer and longer and longer. Some of them start taking like three seconds. This book is my favorite. It's a small book. It's the dot and the line. The line falls in love with the dot. 
it's just awesome and it has a lot of um a lot of dad humor in it it's 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 wonderful so so it starts off with this sensible straight line there's our hero right there and i talk about it i said here's our hero and then i show i show the book around to everybody in the class like that and then i said he's in love with this dot right here and so this here's the dot right here and it's about this dot in the line and and then here's the bad guy because she only has she only has eyes for a wild and unkept squiggly and then i go dun, 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 in my classes you know and i show it around <laughs> smiles all the way around right off the bat and so it talks about them being everywhere together frolicking and dancing and laughing and and it says and lord knows what else and so, <laughs> so and then it says he's so gay and free and i talk about you know in 1963 when this book was made gay had a different meaning and so he's so gay and free so happy and free that's what that means and they all get it they all buy into it with huge smiles and then and then so then they talk about how uh, how the line gets completely on edge and so get it he's on the edge of the paper it's awesome and there's his worried friends his worried friends had noticed how terribly thin and drawn he had become <laughs> it's just good silly humor like that so you know and here's her measurements he can only imagine her as she's so perfect and top side bottom all 36 it's this one's my favorite right here. All right, you guys, I, I hope that helps and take care.